Hey everyone, welcome back to the Aerial Media Pros channel. Today we're working with the Tornado H920 from Unique, and we're just gonna quickly walk you through how to do a compass calibration. You can find that, find that in the manual and the quick start guide, but we just wanted to show you a video on how to do it. So we got everything on, so go ahead and turn on your transmitter and the copter and get everything set up and make sure everything's connected properly. Then to start, we wanna make sure the copter is facing directly north. So what you can do is actually just get an app application on your phone, or if you have a compass, go ahead and use that. And we'll just actually set it on top of the copter and make sure it's facing direct north. All right, so with the Tornado, to get into compass calibration mode, we're gonna want to go full left on the left stick here, and then we'll toggle the S4 switch four times. And that will begin the light sequence. It'll be a slow red and green back and forth. And then when it is ready, it'll go into, when it's actually beginning the calibration process, it will flash red and green much quicker. All right, so what we're gonna do here is we'll get on both sides, perpendicular to the north direction here. And what Jay and I are gonna do is we'll actually go ahead and we'll be turning it 45 degrees and it'll be five steps until it's all the way 180 degrees turned around while spinning it um, in the forward direction towards north every time. So it's hard to understand exactly just by explaining. So we're just gonna go ahead and do it and uh, hopefully you get a good idea of how to do the compass calibration. So I'll grab the transmitter here again you have 30 seconds to do the compass calibration, which is a little fast, um, but it's definitely doable in 30 seconds. So we'll go full left on the transmitter, toggle four times, check the light in the back and make sure it's blinking. You're gonna lift up, hold for four seconds, and then spin forward once, turn 45 degrees, spin forward another time, all right, so this should be a 90 degree angle. One more time over. Another 45 degrees. You'll definitely need another hand for this. You can't really do it by yourself and make sure the props are off. Last step, one more over. Did we make the 30 second mark? I think we did, all right. So go ahead and make sure it kind of starts back up here. Red, blue, green, and then you'll see the green light and that means you could set it down. So that's the Compass Calibration. For more tutorials and videos, visit our Aero Media Pros channel. Until then, thank you so much for watching.